you guys had to know this was coming. For as much as I've talked about Demon Souls on the site and on the podcast and pretty much everywhere I go, figured I should probably do a playthrough of it. I think I'm going to dedicate myself to this one being the first game I go all the way through with. Um, a lot of people were talking to me about Dark Souls recently, and I turned them on to Demon Souls. And hearing their feedback about it has done nothing but reignite my passion for this game. Um, unfortunately, as it says here, at the end of May, the Demon Souls servers will shut down forever. That doesn't mean you can't play the game anymore, but what it does mean is that a vast majority of the experience will be shut down. Um, all of the multiplayer aspects, the messages, the red phantoms invading. It's all going to be gone. So if you have yet to play this, unfortunately it's only a PS3 exclusive, so you Xbox people are boned. Um, you've got a month left. So I've put well over 100 hours into this game. I am going to start a new character. Um, I've played through several of the classes. You know, I'm not going through this time for 100% completion. I'm just going to go through and have some fun. Um, I don't know what the hell I want my guy to look like here. Name. Ooh, this is always fun. Let's go with... Oh, fuck, the primitive input mode. Um, I think I can remember how to operate this. He is going to be... I wonder how long I can put this. Captain! At one space? God, this is old. A, C... Nope, I want an A. There we go. Captain Snacks. All right, Captain Snacks. Here we go. Gonna be a knight. Uh, if you if you feel like playing this, I would definitely suggest playing as a knight. Um, you know, the the magic in this game is pretty pretty toilet. Um, you can go through as a barbarian, but. Without getting into a whole lot of detail, basically either your typical soldier or your knight are going to be the best. Um, I wouldn't even fuck with your appearance because you're going to have a helmet crammed on your dome most of the time. So, here we go! This game kind of falls right in line with my mantra of storyline happens to other people. Simply because this is the only story you're going to see till you beat the game. King Aland the Twelfth by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But valor facts of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had aroused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force, and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. 
Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Gar of Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Would you? Yeah, I'll show you that. So if you didn't understand the storyline, it's not a big deal because that is the pretty much the only time you're going to come across it until the very last minute and a half of the game. Um, so it's not very important. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Basically, in a nutshell, it is your job to uh, thwart the demons and put the old one back to sleep. So, hopefully a lot of you have played Dark Souls, and this is going to give you a good idea of where those mechanics came from, except show you just how hard this game is. This game is relentlessly difficult compared to Dark Souls. Um, I still struggled with it, but not nearly as much as I struggled with this game. So hopefully some of that is conveyed in this. I've played through this about eight or nine times, so I'm pretty familiar with attack patterns, where people are, how to beat the bosses, but it still doesn't make it any easier. So this is a little bit of a tutorial here that kind of gets you familiar with the concepts of the game. And I have heard that if you do it just right, you gonna die there, buddy? If you do it just right, you can actually beat the tutorial and get a killer item right away in the beginning of the game. But try as I might have never been able to do that. That's the roll button. That's right, this one's got, instead of your Estus flask, this one you actually have. Uh, items that you can run out of. I don't believe... Like I said, it's been a while. I don't think this one has a sprint button. Which... Nope, it definitely does not. You know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is a little different than when I first... Yeah, this is... They've definitely updated this. Since the last time I played it, the two first tutorial that I played, you're just walking through a tunnel. Well, actually, you know what? I haven't played the tutorial since the very first time. I've always skipped it. So I could be entirely wrong. But I, this doesn't really seem familiar. We'll see. Um, I think we got a... Warp to a new area. This one does not have the bonfires, so if you're looking for those from Demon Souls, you are not going to find it here. The whole thing kind of revolves around the Nexus. I'll show you that as soon as I get there. Hmm.
This is looking a little more familiar. That's an incredibly difficult move to pull off. God, I remember my first time playing through this, just having absolutely no idea what to expect. This game was so different than anything else on the market at the time that I mean, most people just want to charge in and go all willy-nilly and not really pay attention to tactics and enemy maneuvers. Or block, for that matter. Come on. <laughs> Apparently when you die in Demon Souls or in Bulletaria, you go completely weightless. Come with me, pal. Ah, that's right. Two-handed wielding. It's been a while since I've played Dark Souls, too. You know, fuck two hands. I don't think I can reap the stay of these guys. Come on. I feel like the enemies were smarter in this game than they are in Dark Souls. I don't know if they toned down the AI. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dark Souls was still difficult, but... Fuck me, some of these are difficult. Come on. I'm gonna have to re this guy. Come on, jerk. You are just not going to go down, are you? Boy, how embarrassing would that be if I died in a fucking tutorial? But I guess that would lend credence to just how difficult this game is. They don't pussyfoot around the issue, they just drop you in and whoop your ass. There we go. We'll get him two points at a time. Oh! One more good hit and he is toast. There it is. See ya. Uh, anything back here? No. Oh shit. My propensity to hit square caused me to eat some grass. Oop. More stuff? Don't do that. Do we go out this way? No. Here we go. Doesn't seem like there's anything down there. Oh, hello. I'm curious to see how many of the traps I remember. I remember you walk down a set of stairs, you could get a flaming stone dropped on you to people jumping out of the walls. Ooh, give me your stuff. I think we're coming up on the boss here. I don't remember this being too long. But again, they don't. I don't really tell you much, it's just kind of pussyfoot enemies to get your feet wet. More stuff? I think I'm in body form right now. This whole game revolves around body and soul form and world tendencies and all that stuff. I'm kind of disappointed they took that out of Dark Souls because it adds a whole new level of, I guess, strategy for a better word. Um, you die in body form, and... Oh, fuck, here we go. You die in body form, and it fucks everything up. So, this guy, I believe this is the boss for the tutorial, and he will kill me instantly. Maybe? Yep. So, how... You're supposed to die, by the way. Um, how people can beat him right off the bat with the tutorial is beyond me. 
but that sets the pace for the game. So you were in human form or body form, whatever you want to call it. Now you are in soul form and shit's about to get real. The Nexus. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I was hearing that in my sleep for months. This is the Nexus. Hold together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the north. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Let's go. You have died. This is basically where all the souls come. Um, these little people running around, those are actually other players. And the little blood stains shows you how other people died. Um, that guy obviously died immediately going into Boletaria. Here's my good old pal Stockpile Thomas. When the, when the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, my wife and daughter fell victim to the demon. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I would be happy right. to lighten your load and. Uh, I don't Best have anything you. for you right now. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. Here we go. So you've got these one, two, three, four, five arch stones. They're five different areas of the world. Um, you kind of go through them in an order. This one obviously you have to start with, but I think there's like four sub levels within each one, and then each level has a boss. You'll see. You kind of have to skip around. 